Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2. Apologize for the lack of videos yesterday, but I was very, very unusually tired Friday night. So yes, there will be a quote-unquote Saturday special coming out the same day as this, but it obviously is coming out on Sunday. Sorry, minor discrepancy, but again, I was ludicrously tired Friday night. I mean, I like I can usually stay up until 1-2 in the morning and do these videos if I have to. I got home Friday, it was like 9 o'clock, and I was laying in bed to rest my eyes, and then I jerked awake like half an hour later uh, and looked at the clock and I was like, oh my god, I actually fell asleep and then came out here to try and get the setup going and I was like, you know, it's it's probably better if I just let myself get the rest that I need, so uh, yes, apologies for the lack of videos yesterday. Um, I did try to uh, get up the next morning early-ish and uh, record the videos, but um, the... I didn't realize that the HDMI cord that I was using to go from the Elgato to my TV is really not very reliable at all. So it was not putting the image up on my TV, which I need to play the game. So, uh, yeah. Now, why am I going here? Well, we're just going to put an EL1 for easiness. Um, we are going here because I did not use the digital vision uh, thing correctly. I forgot you have to go and activate it in here. So optics, digital enhancement. Oh my god, I can see everything. Wow, that's, that's incredible, honestly. Oh my god, it lets you see right through. Well, that's awesome. I wish I had known about that before. Too bad I'm an idiot. That's amazing. That's really cool. Is it just me or is the music skipping a little bit? Oh, it's it's probably just me. My headphones. There we go. Uh-huh. If they aren't, like, ever so slightly unplugged from the, like, basically it's the aux extension cord that I have here. Um, if they aren't ever so slightly unplugged from that by, like, a hair, then I don't hear sound normally. So, yeah. Chaff. Oh my god, can I see the... What? I can see the submarines underwater? See, that in itself makes this thing worthwhile. Even if you weren't using it for a mission like this, that makes it worthwhile. To me, at least. Because that's amazing. That's like a freaking superpower. That's really cool. Okay, I like this system a lot. See, I never toyed around with the vision systems, like, at all. But, uh, yeah, I could totally see why this would be absolutely amazing. And then here's the other thing. I can see ships... Right, so even if I don't detect the guy, I should be able to see his ship in the distance. Like, actually see it with the periscope here, or with the binoculars, I should say. The zoom, I don't know. Scope mode is what they call it. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. So I don't think he's up here this time. Well, anyways, we don't have to finish the mission. I just wanted to try that out. And we're not going to lose a whole lot of points for doing this, but... All right, digital vision, totally worth it. If I know I'm going into a mission that has a lot of fog and stuff, I will try to remember to equip that. But, uh, yeah, wow, that was amazing, like night and day. So I wanted to mention the battleships real quick, the high-level uh, Tier 8 battleships. We will play around with those, but we're going to do it in special episodes because I want to use this series to try and push through the, the, the main, like, content. So we will play around with the high-level battleship holes, don't worry. But, uh, in fact, they are researching right now. Um, we will play around with these, but I'll save that for the special episodes so that uh, we can keep barreling through the storyline here. Because, that's, after all, that's the point of doing this third Let's Play in the first place. The special episodes are, you know, for the, the really regular viewers that, that want to see most of what this game has to offer. That's really what the special episodes are for. Um... So, yeah, and, and, and again, once the Warner's Path Let's Play is over, the special episodes will continue on their own every day as their own thing until we run out of ideas of what to do with those. So, you'll, you'll get it one way or another, I promise. So, uh, Mission 490. Oh, this is going to be a Mission Pause scenario. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's uh, let's take a quick look at the Bishop 2. I want to see how the Bishop 2 does handling a mission pause scenario. Let's see. 
Let's see here. Uh, I think I did not have... Oh, that's not a bad loadout. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's not a bad loadout at all, actually. I'm fine with that. Okay, now... This I'm not going to need in either of the next two missions, so we'll get rid of it. And I guess we'll put on... Do I have Sita? There it is. Okay, plus 3,000. Do I have Kappa already? I already have Kappa. Oh, I could go with my ETAC prop. That's what I took off before. Yeah, there we go. Aha! 82 knots. Sweet! Alrighty. Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. This thing is ready to go. Two battle, 490. Uh, let's see, if we can do this quickly enough, we might be able to do both missions. 500 can take a little bit of time, though. 500 can be a bit long. Not to mention, I gotta remember that there's gonna be story stuff after each of these, so... And that in mind, we're just gonna go straight for it here. <laughs> try to get out of here as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, we're not going to worry about objectives and all that stuff. And if you can hear me yawning, it's because it is currently midnight. I'm feeling pretty awake, though, all things considered. And much more so than I was yesterday. I don't know what happened yesterday. I was just, I was exhausted. Yesterday being Friday, because I remember I'm recording this Saturday night. I guess technically now it's Sunday, but you know what I mean. Anyways, details. Uh, um, yeah, I feel much more awake now at midnight than I did yesterday at 9 p.m. Oh, hello there, little ships. Oh, I love cannons so much. Oh, I love cannons so much. Oh, I love cannons so much. Ah, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Ow. You guys are jerks with those lasers. You know that? Alright. We broke through the enemy blockade. Sweet. Oh, God. Never mind. There's a whole bunch down there. Ah, destroy the airbases. Well, I know where they are. I just don't want to be bothered to go for them right now. Hold on, maybe I do. What's the treasure? Not the treasure, the... The, um... S rank. Oh. Mm. Oh, wait, hold on. Wrong mission. UK Destroyer 6. Is that the only place I can get this... This, uh... Item? I don't know. It's the only place I can get the item. I kinda care. But... It's only UK Destroyer 6, so it's not like we're going to use it, I don't think. I mean, you can make almost any hole useful in this game by slapping some ADS, uh, AGS and then and then on there. 3,000 Endurance is good enough for just about anything. Just about. Oh, oh, switch to the cruiser, there you go. That lead cruiser. Out of there. No, the lead cruiser. I thought I was targeting the lead cruiser. It's not. Ugh, come on. That guy. Do we have... We don't have a Nimitexida on here, do we? Wow, we'd be taking... We'd have a lot more percentage of our health. Uh, if we did have Sita, but even considering we don't have it, we're doing real good here. Oh yeah, I have Kappa, so I can... Ah! Yes. Is there, a, is there a ship flying around here I should know about? I thought I just saw a random little blip of yellow over here. Like a ship that's using cloaking. But I guess not. Alright, well, anyways. We're moving on. we got a mission pause scenario here. we got to keep going. Oh god. Whoa. Hold on. I think my disc might be, like, loose in the tray or something. Okay, looks fine now. This is strange. We can actually head this way and, and be fine. Oh, wait, no, we can't. There's not enough space for me to escape that way. <laughs> Dang it. I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as possible. Ah, there we go. I think we have plenty of time to do the next mission and get its story stuff. Yep, and okay, there we go. So it looks like on mission 490 you can get UK Carrier 4 and UK Carrier 6 as parts pickups on uh, hard difficulty only. Um, so yeah, 
That's something of note, I suppose. Ah, uh, yes, save temporarily. Yes, please. We're gonna save over this guy. Uh, also, I should mention I'm recording this before the special episode of the day, so... Yeah, that, that may be significant. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a suggestion to look at using some different flags as well. I forgot about it. Dang it, and I hit the desk with my controller on accident. Ah, I'm sorry. Ugh, everything's going terribly wrong. We will take a look at the flags in the special episode. Because then we'll also have the other three flags and the final flag from Inferno mode. Because that's what we're going to be doing in the special episode is Inferno. The last three Inferno missions. Oh, good old mission 500. This is hard on a good day. And we're on hard difficulty. So, uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bad assumption, Nagi. Oh, I need to remember there's mines in the middle of the map, too. Because that's probably the scariest thing on this map. The mines. If you forget there's mines, you're in trouble. Hmm. Yep. All hands alert. This. Units, attack. This. And that. Chaff. Oh, that wasn't a missile. Well, you know, it's worth a try, anyways. Uh, what do we got? Destroyers. Lots and lots of little destroyers. Enemy ship sunk. Oh, jeez. Come on, down, down, down. Pull down on the stick. I'm pulling down on the stick to go towards these guys. Thank you. Ay ay ay! All I wanted was to shoot at these destroyers. Is that so much to ask? Apparently it is. I'm beginning to wonder if that, my inability to target ships sometimes, I'm beginning to wonder if it's actually like a system that they have equipped. Like I'm seriously beginning to wonder that. It would make the most sense as to why I just cannot get the reticle to go where I need it to sometimes. Oop, chaff. I want to come this way first, uh, mainly to deal with the airfield that's over here, because I know that's going to be a problem. Well, it's going to be annoying at least. has a lot going on. I'm gonna wish I had an Aegis uh, system here in a second, because we're gonna be targeting a whole crap load of submarines at once. Okay, and let's do a 180 real quick. And we're gonna deal with these ships that are chasing us, and we'll head down through the center. I think that'll be the best way to handle this. I think. You remember not to run into stuff, because we are back on hard difficulty, or at least I think we are. Damn you and your torpedoes. I think we're on hard, let's find out. Yep, we're on hard difficulty. Oh, that really hurt. Eh, yeah, I suppose we'll go ahead and launch the helicopters, because why not? Okay. Chaff, oh, those torpedoes. Unguided, apparently. <laughs> Noobs using unguided torpedoes at this stage of the game. Noobs! Slow down here. Nope, nope, nope. The destroy. Oh, come on, game. Seriously? Maybe the last couple I could have gotten, you know, some understanding. I could have been like, all right, I guess. But that, that very last one there was ridiculous. Where it went to the battery when I'm aiming, like, down here, and it's still locked onto the battery. That is insane. We're going to turn broadside here. I forgot I can spin in place. And we're just going to go crazy with the trigger. We're just going to go absolutely insane. Fire at everything, preferably the ships and not the freaking buildings game. Who's this game's addiction with targeting random buildings in the background that I don't care about? Stop it! Stop doing it! Keeps doing it! Gosh. 
The high angles will do their job when we get over there, okay? I don't need... Really? Come on now. I'm, be I'm really beginning to wonder if it's like a system that they have equipped or something. Because there's no way I could be that unlucky. I'm an unlucky guy. I'm very open about that. But this is, this is absurd. Speaking of absurd, uh, the way the enemies spawned just now, they're all over the freaking map, which sucks. I don't see any submarines. I thought there were going to be some submarines. But again, excuse me. I'm so used to playing this on EL1, where there are definitely submarines in there. How tough are these cruisers? Tougher than those destroyers have been. I'm going to take a few more shells. Piece of cake. Ooh, helicopter. Keep me going, grab that parts crate, that'd be cool. Here, I'll do you a favor, get any survivors so you don't have to, and then you can go get my parts crate that I want you to get. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and pop shaft, just in case. I don't think anything's coming at me, but you never know. Some of them missiles is fast, man. I may not have time to react once I see it on the local radar. Oh, wow, there's a lot of ships sitting in here, huh? Chaff. Nice job, crew. Very quick repair, I like it. Hold on, hold on. Dip, 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 dip. There we go. There we go. Oh, what is it that's... It's the same battery that it keeps targeting. What is it with that battery? Honestly, what the hell? Stop targeting the battery. There's just that one battery over there that is determined to target at all costs. Oh boy, worship guy one day is anybody? Uh-huh, yep, back to that. Oh god. Do I have searchlights on this thing? I have searchlights on this ship, right? Sure we. Also, I mean, these things have their own searchlights, but they're blinking when you want to be able to find a crate. Super bright lights on these crates. Uh, chaff, ammo, yep. And here we go. You know, all things considered, I think we're making pretty good time on this mission here. Oh wait, I need to go that way. I need to go that way. Get in there, high angles. You're crazy. You don't have to literally destroy every building, but you gotta destroy pretty much every building. Requesting their surrender, and no. Of course not. Alright, well, we gotta go deal with their battleships because they're not going home on their own. And what do we got? To destroy her. Oh, come on. Here. Here. I'm literally pulling down on the stick to make sure it goes where I want it to go. Or, I should say, to try and help it go where I want it to go. Uh, shall we deal with these guys real quick? Yeah, let's deal with these guys real quick. Just that they're not going to be a problem. There's even a parts crate over there. Ooh, what are the parts crates? Hold on, I need to look. So it could be something good. Uh, no, not really. Dang it. I pretty much have everything that's already on that list. Full speed ahead. I see all those torpedoes in the water. Whoa, hello. I mean, I knew there were a ton of battleships over here. I just didn't expect them to be in such neat lines. And they're gone. Wow, that was easy. It looks like they didn't get stronger battleships just for that part. Oh, well, they do now. <sighs> ah, Yamashiro. These annoying laser battleships. That I hate with a passion. They're not even that tough, but their lasers are annoying. Uh, bother with the health, I suppose. Okay, now we're going over time. I was afraid of that, but I knew it was mission pause as well, so I kind of expected it. Where's the leader? There he is. Their movement is so random and sporadic right now because they're running into stuff. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, I love Enigma Tech Kappa. 
It's probably my second favorite, right up there with uh, Sita. My favorite Enigma Tex. I don't even care which one's the leader at this point. I just want to kill them all. Eh, yeah, the leader was in there. In that mix. Sounds great. Mine now. Go that way. Not more. Come on, dude. Seriously? The EL2 is just trolling me now because it's like, oh, you thought you're done? Enemy reinforcements spotted. Oh, you killed those reinforcements? Well, enemy reinforcements spotted. Oh, you killed them? How about some more reinforcements spotted? Thanks. Jerks. Do I get that parts credit or no? No, I don't. Go. Go. Oh, Kappa, you're so great. Oh, Kappa is the best thing ever. Behind Sita. I still like Sita the most because it gives me 3,000 endurance and that makes any ship viable. That and AGS makes any ship viable when you put the two together. Obviously, there can still be better and worse ships, but. And they surrender. We did it. <sighs> okay. And I'm calling it good. Oh, we still have the championship pet on this uh, ship. I didn't even notice. Again, we'll be looking at flags and stuff in the special episode. And I know the music is weird again. It's like my, my disc tray is having issues on my PS2 again. As long as it keeps on working, then we can keep on making these videos. I've said several times the only thing that would stop me from finishing a Let's Play is if a, you know it's an equipment malfunction that I can't fix quickly. So, oh, Enigma Tech Beta. That's new, apparently. I don't know what Enigma Tech Beta does. What would have been the S rank if I had got it? Enigma Tech Gamma. We have Gammas, don't we? We found Gammas before, I think. Oh, and we found a Beta at the end of Parts Crate, too. Alright, let's go ahead and save over the same one. Yes, please. Get the story stuff and end this episode. Yay, another super weapon battle. It feels like it's been a little while since we fought one, but it wasn't that long ago. It just, just feels like it. Oh, laser battleship. Ah. So as I sit here now, we are at about 27 minutes. What I probably will have done is sped up some of the combat uh, in some of the parts there just so that we 
can not have quite such a long episode. So that'll do it for this episode of Worship Gunner 2 on Warner's Path. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, hope to see you all in the next one.